And uh, looking back again, this weekend it's 40 years to the day since uh, American black civil rights leader Malcolm X came to the Midlands. Days later, he was assassinated. He was interviewed by the BBC on the day he came. It's thought it was his last ever recorded interview. Marvin Cole delves into this piece of forgotten local history to find out why he came and what he's left behind. An extraordinary visitor to Marshall Street in Smethwick on February the 12th saw the town become the focus of the nation's attention. He was passionate, outspoken, controversial. He was also a master of description. Black people should realize that freedom is something that they have when they're born. And anyone who stands in their way of freedom is their enemy. Politics was synonymous with race in 1960 Smethwick. In fact, local Tory MP Peter Griffiths won his seat pandering to racist views. Many of the white housewives were lobbying the local council to buy up all the free houses in this street to stop any more blacks or Asians moving in. Malcolm had come to Smethwick to show solidarity with the black and Asian community who were suffering racism at that time on the street. Today in Smethwick, the spirit of understanding which motivated Malcolm X's visit lives on. The Taste and Live project sent five black country youths to India to understand faiths and cultures. He's a man ahead of his time and as a result of what he did, that's inspired a lot of people to stand together and try and make a difference. The Taste and Live is just part of that struggle where we want to bring about a change in our society. It's made quite a, a difference in the way I see people. The way I talk to people, the sights, the people, the smells, the tastes, the, just the living, I mean the people are so friendly. Why people can be so hostile against something that they don't know? I think the main thing is, is the fear of unknown. We visited places such as like the Taj Mahal, Temple of Amritsar, Pakistani border. Nine days after he visited Marshall Street, Malcolm X was shot dead in New York. But his legacy of compassion is one that this town will never forget. Marvereen Cole, BBC Midlands Today, Smethwick.